In this video, we're going to look at implementing the command design pattern. Okay, so I've already created a folder called command pattern on my desktop, and I have my main file, and I'm just going to open the file. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a manager, and this manager is responsible for calling methods. And in, the, in a nutshell, that's what the command pattern is. It basically uh, decouples calling the method from the implementation. So you always call the methods through this manager. So let's create this manager first. Okay, so function manager. And this is just going to have some items in it. So this the items. We're going to start with an empty array. So there's no, nothing in here. And we need to define a particular method on manager. And we're going to call that uh, do. And whenever we want to call something, we'll say, hey, manager, uh, do this. Uh, manager, do that. And we don't have to directly call methods. We'll just call that single method. And then we'll tell it what we want to call uh, in the first parameter. So on the prototype of manager, we're going to create this method. So manager.prototype prototype is an object, obviously. And we're going to define the uh, do, which is a function. And it's going to take the name. So name is the name of the function that we want to call. So let's say that manager allows you to add items uh, to this item array. So I'm going to create that add method. And I'm going to uh, use underscore to say that these are private methods. So we cannot call them. So, so add is a function that is going to take an item. And it's going to just add that item to the list. So we're just going to push it to the items array. That's simple enough, right? So let's see how we're going to call this. We're going we're gonna to need to add some stuff later, but uh, we're going to add that step by step. OK, so let's create an instance from manager, new manager. And we're going to say, hey, manager, uh, do this add for us, right? And let me just add a console log here. So we're logging, adding uh, item. So if I run this, we don't see anything because I need to fix this name. And uh, make sure uh, we need to make sure that we have something in the do method uh, that uh, the add method gets executed. And right now, we don't have anything in there. So we're going to say if, first of all, let's uh, create a name. So this variable is going to be the name of the function. And because all these uh, methods are private, they all have underscore in the beginning. So we're going to say we're just going to add underscore to the beginning of the name so that we can find the method. And if that method exists, we're going to call it. So how do we find that method? Well, these methods are defined on the instance itself. So we can say if this of method name, and if that is true, then we're just going to call it. So this of fn name, and we're going to invoke the function. Now we need to get the argument, but we'll we'll get to it. For now, let's just make sure that something happens. Okay, so we get adding item that 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 is happening. But if I want to add one, for example, how do we do that? Uh, let's add uh, console log items so that we can see the items. Right now, if I lock, uh, nothing is there because item is not defined. Um, well, I'm sorry, this is another error. Right now, it says undefined. I don't know what you're trying to add. So that's where we need to get the argument, uh, get the argument that we want to pass in. Because right now, the first first parameter is the name of the function here, right? Uh, but we don't have a way to get these parameters, the rest of the parameters. So as you know, there's this special arguments called arguments, a variable called arguments, that are the arguments that are passed into this function. But we need to create an array from that. So uh, the way you do it is uh, array dot from, and then the thing that you want to create an array from. So in this case, arguments. So this will return an array, and you can look at those arguments. So let me see arguments. OK, I spelled that correctly. Now we need to get all the um, arguments, uh, not including the first one. So we're going to get everything from index one uh, onwards. So you can say dot slice, and this will return a copy of the array. And it can say from what index, so at index one. So we're going to return everything 
uh, after uh, this one. Now I have this argument and I can just pass it to here. Whoa, I can pass that here. So this is going to pass that value to this one. And if everything works correctly, we get one. Now, as you can see, it passed an array. So slice will return an array. Now we just need to get the first um, index of that. And if you run this, uh, you'll get that. So that's the idea. Um, in, in here, if you if you didn't have ES6, if you're not using ES6 or whatever, uh, you can just do uh, something like um, array.prototype.slice.call, and the context is arguments, and you get one. So let me comment this out, and let's just make sure that it works. And as you can see, that works just fine. OK, so let's review what we did here. We created this manager function, which represents our manager constructor. And this is an item, as a list of items. It also has a method, special method called do, that is the common interface that people can use to call methods. We pass it the name of the method that we want to call. Then we check if that method exists. If it does, then we're going to invoke it with some arguments. And these arguments are the arguments that uh, are going to be uh, calling the function with. And this is a private method that only uh, this do method can call. And all it's doing is just adding an item. So later on, if you want to add, I don't know, another method, you can do that. So let's say if you want to remove items, you can say remove given an item, it will just remove the element. So I can say I am removing Right, and then we're just going to say this at items. First, we need to get the index of the element, so we get a splice. Uh, splice will remove the element, so we got to find the index, and we're just going to uh, pass in one. So the uh, way you, get in, uh, you would get the index is by this dot items dot index of, and then the parameter here item. So now, if I add two elements, let's say one and two, and if I want to remove, let's say um, one I can do m do do remove and then pass in one or two whatever and then let's just log the items here uh, this dot items and we should see uh, two because I removed a one so if I add another element and say remove one or let's say remove two then we expect to get a one and three there we go so that's it that's the command pattern. Uh, it's a bit more involved. Uh, for example, you can represent actions as objects. But uh, for now, I think this is good enough just to get an idea of the command pattern.